here in Williamsport. Germany and Minnesota tied up. And yesterday, well, we got some help on the broadcast. Special young man Ryder Martin is really the inspiration for this German team. Ryder, who deals with spinal bifida as that spinal condition. He is a huge baseball fan, a huge Yankee fan, and he's really become the inspiration, the role model for this German team. They call him the 13th man, and, well, he gave us some help on the broadcast yesterday. Oh, outside corner, good eye. This is really heating up, folks. A battle at the plate, pitcher against hitter. Headlines of the League World Series. This is going to be a good showdown, I can tell. Well, he was he was so good that I I, I think I I lost my partner. I'm not sure I'm not sure where he went. Hey. Where's my man Nomar Garcia Par? He's around here somewhere. Nomar. What's happening? What's going on? You miss me? Absolutely. Where'd you go? <laughs> down there with my man, Ryder Martin. Well, I had to come down here for sure. Well, he did such a great job. You got to thank him. He, he 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 helped us so much, and and we just we wanted to say thanks because he's been an inspiration, but a, a huge help to our broadcast. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I had to come down here really to thank Ryder Martin. I mean, he truly is an inspiration writer. I wanted to give you something to thank you for helping us out yesterday in the booth. And also for thank you for such, being a, such a great teammate. And he just told me right now, he goes, that's all right that you played for the Red Sox. I won't hold that against you. <laughs> so thanks, Ryder. I appreciate it. So nice to meet you. Big Yankee fan. So, yeah, we, we, we had to thank him because, you know, we do these games and we get somebody to, you know, Kyle Peterson works with us, Adriana Monsalve, and then you got Ryder Martin yesterday doing the play-by-play -play and the color and doing a great job. And I get a pretty good idea that, well, next year, maybe our jobs will be in jeopardy. Ryder Martin did such a good job. So thanks to Ryder for all of his help and for being such an inspiration. Kids absolutely love him, a monstrous baseball fan. I don't know that there will be a, a player on the German team that would be more excited about getting a chance to go to Yankee Stadium than Ryder Martin. John Vasari out there. Gathering his group together. His son Johnny, the pitcher, were tied at one. And a man at first here at the bottom of the third. Uh, no more signed it to him. Thanks a lot, Ryder. We appreciate all your help. Jake Gonzalez here. We visited with his parents earlier. He'll be moving on to Hawaii at the end of the Little League World Series. Luston gets the out there, and moving up to second is Stokes. <laughs> Kyle, Fo Kyle Foley stands in, a 1-1 game. Foley, another of the German players will be moving, moving on to Northern Virginia. Father, I believe, is going to go work at the Pentagon. There's mom and dad. Kids fill out the questionnaire. It's always interesting to, to look at the answers. I guess at times the things that jump out to me is when you see... When you see answers to the questions that don't seem to fit with their age group, whether it's a kid saying that his favorite band is ACDC, or Kyle Foley says his favorite actor is Sylvester Stallone. 
Now, with all due respect to Sly, and I know... I, that, yeah, what are you trying the, to say? What's wrong with that? I'm just saying Rambo and the Rocky movies are, are big. Come on, Rocky. Oh. Rocky's timeless. And my, people used to ask me, what's your favorite movie? I said, Rocky 1 through 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. They're not so you're stop. saying you don't think it's him watching like Cobra or stuff where my mom will shoot, and that's why he likes Sly Stallone. Huh? You might get a call right now from Sly Stallone saying you had to bring up those movies. <laughs> two down and two aboard. Folks, Little League World Series presented by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Four Easter at ESPN. Mexico will go up against Puerto Rico. It's in an elimination game. Then six Eastern Ohio and Georgia. Eight Eastern Connecticut and Washington. And that Connecticut-Washington game is an elimination game. Here's my ping pong partner. Stan Hurley stepping in the plate. First and second, one away. Stan Hurley, one of the players on the team who actually speaks German. Again, most of the kids, dependents of military personnel. Stan's mom right there, though, is a German national, so we had him toss it back up to us in German the other day. Harrington's mom as well as German. Two balls, one strike. Liner that's caught as Thor puts it away. And Tyler Hufano will come up to hit. It's our pool deconsolation game. Both of these teams 0-2. Neither of them can win the 2010 Little League World Series, but a change in format. Now, one of the things nice that is nice about the move to the double elimination format is now the international teams get a chance to hook up with the U.S. teams in this spot. The kids are able beyond this if they want to stay. Teams like Europe and Minnesota, they can keep playing games. Folks here at Little League on other fields will get umpires for them and organize games if they want to keep playing. That's pretty cool. I really just have to hand it to the organize, organized committee of Little League, the administrators, for them to come together and just think of different ways to make the experience for these kids lasts a lifetime and they've, they've done just a great job and they're and they don't stop they're constantly talking how can we make it better what can we do to improve the game you good? their experience and I mean I, one of the things I, I'm amazed just from the good game one. itself you know the Fight. use of instant replay we've been talking about that so much throughout the Philly World Series are loving it as well. Talked about Joe Maurer. The Maurer family helped put together and pay for a 50-passenger bus that brought a lot of the families here to Williamsport. Softly out to short and safe at first is Ufana. There's that speed again. And the bases are all loaded up. 
Kufana drops that ball just past the pitcher and he just gets down the line. He's got he's so fast. It's amazing to see him how he's looking at the ball as he's running. He's that fast. He can still look at the ball and his legs are just moving down that line. John Vasseri, the manager, out to talk with his son. A 1-1 game, but with two outs. Team from Europe mounting a threat. Minnesota with a little more pitching depth available today. Four pitchers ineligible for this one for Europe. Minnesota, it's only one. That's Taylor Bluston. so far for Viseri. Big Mac Mackenzie Mueller up here. Rose left, bats right. Inside corner, all in two. Germany's first run with a single. Jeffrey Noble saying that he did not go. One and two to count. the things that these kids get to, they move around so much, family being part of the Air Force, but some of the experience they get to have. You know, the Ken Zanillo says one of his favorite things he likes to do is likes to snowboard in the Alps. Because <laughs> you could say, oh, I, lo I love snowboarding in the Alps. Oh, big hop right there. And Thorpe gets it over to Verbaten, and Minnesota gets out of it. Germany leaves them loaded. Ryan Martin, the 13th man. His group from Germany tied up with this one.